hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video i am going to show you the process to solve a problem wherein we have two plates of a parallel plate capacitor but one of the plate is inclined at angle theta with the horizontal each plate is of edge length a so it's a square plate one of the plate one plate is horizontal and the other plate this is the horizontal direction so other plate is inclined at angle theta with the horizontal okay this separation is d this separation is d this is both the plates are square plates of side a okay so this question is actually from uh, the uh, assam high secondary education council prescribed question bank from the chapter electrostatics the first part or second part sorry and uh, this is question number 8 from the question bank and uh, i guess this question is also quite important for other board students also very good problem on capacitor so how to proceed see if we take a small section of this system which is of thickness dy okay so that means i have taken a length this length is dy okay but this is a square plate so this strip this complete strip will have area so this is a this is dy so area of this plate differential element will be da area will be small part of this area will be how much this is a this length is a and this is dy so it will be a into dy okay now the standard expression for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor it is c is equal to a epsilon not divided by d so e is the area epsilon not is the permittivity of free space d is the plate separation so if i have to use this concept or this formula in this problem so the capacitance of this differential element of the capacitor it will be dc is equal to a is a dy so a dy epsilon not divided by d now see this distance is d suppose this element is at distance y from this end then if this is theta this will be y sin theta y sin theta so distance between these two elements it will be d plus y sin theta now if you read the question once again a capacitor has a square plate of side a making an angle theta as shown in the figure now it is also given the question that this angle this theta is not written here but in the question actual original question it is given that uh, theta is very small so this is the this is the question here this uh, theta capacitor has a square plate making an angle theta b between them show that for small theta capacity is this so this angle theta is assumed to be very small this angle theta okay so for small theta for small theta i can replace sin theta with theta okay so this expression becomes dc is equal to a dy epsilon not divided by d plus y into theta okay now this can be written as a epsilon not dy divided by if i take d as common it will become 1 plus y by d into theta okay now if i take this term in the numerator it will be dc is equal to a epsilon not divided by d 1 plus y by d theta minus 1 into dy okay now see this theta is very small so this y theta by d term this term will be smaller than very small than 1 so in that case i can apply binomial theorem here so this term reduces to dc is equal to a epsilon not divided by d applying by this is 1 plus y theta by d minus 1 so this one becomes 1 minus y 
theta by d dy okay so now if i have to find so this is the capacitance of this small differential element now this element can exist from this between this end to this end anywhere between this end to this end so when this element is at this end value of y is 0 when this element is at this end the value of y will be a because a is a side length of each plate so the value of y varies from 0 to a so integrating this from 0 to a a epsilon naught by d since it is constant let it be outside the integration so this is 0 to a 1 minus y theta by d dy okay now uh, this is a simple integration a epsilon naught by d 1 dy that is a y d y theta by d dy so this will be y square by 2 that is a square by 2 so minus a square by 2 theta by d so if i take a common if i take a common this reduces to so c is equal to a square epsilon naught by d 1 minus a theta by 2d so this is the final expression for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with an inclined plate now in this case see this is the final this is the thing you have you have to prove as given here c is equal to epsilon naught a square by d 1 minus theta a by 2d okay now so this is the case when one of the plate is inclined at theta now if this inclination changes to 0 means if both the plates are parallel in that case theta is equal to 0 now if theta is equal to 0 we should get our earlier expression standard expression so in this case see if theta is equal to 0 this term becomes 0 so we have c is equal to a square epsilon naught by d what is a square this is a square plate so area is a square so it is standard standard formula we had c is equal to a epsilon naught by d so that expression we will get from this okay so this is the deduction for problem 8 of the question bank problem for the assam high secondary education council board students hope this video is beneficial to you and good luck good luck for your exam preparation